Hey, what's going on guys? It's Cynical, so welcome back to another video. Today's one is a cool one because I want to run through what I believe to be the top 10 best mods for Kingdom Hearts 3. Kingdom Hearts 3 has been on PC now for closing in on almost two years, or at least back in March of 2021. One of the things that I was excited for for this game to come to the PC platform was most certainly the custom content, the community created mod content for the game. Now, did I expect it to blow up to the degree it has to this day? Absolutely not. We're nearing almost 2,000 total mods for this game, and there are some really, really cool ones out there. Now, of course, I've done a lot of mod coverage for Kingdom Hearts 3, covering well over 50 mods for the game. Uh, mods that I believe to be definitely worthwhile and very noteworthy. Uh, so today, I wanted to compile a list of what I believe to be 10 of the apps absolute best. Just keep in mind this list is not in any particular order whatsoever, though I will say that number one is probably the most impressive mod I think I've seen to this day. First up is fully playable Terra and Variants, created by Curasa25. There's a bunch of different playable character mods for Kingdom Hearts 3, but I have to say that uh, without a doubt this is probably the most impressive. I do have some other playable character mods in this list, but it's just very apparent that I think the most amount of effort and attention to detail has probably gone into this specific one. This will 100% give you a fully playable Terra experience for the game. The reason why I say it's so impressive is because there's a bunch of custom keyblades that relate to that of Terra's character. On top of that too though, just the sheer amount of custom forms that are attached to all of these different custom keyblades is incredibly impressive. Going as far as to even add the form graphics over the command menu too, which are completely custom, kind of wraps up this mod as a whole and makes it feel like some type of official DLC or official Terra experience. The form though definitely are what make this mod so impressive. We have stuff like Critical Impact, Dark Impulse, Rumble Chase, which I think relates to that of Rumble Racing, Light Blitz. There are a lot of different cool new forms here for you to tinker around with. On top of the new forms and Keyblades, there are also brand new shot locks to go along with this experience as well. What's neat is too, this mod has been a work in progress for quite some time, releasing back at the start of last year and getting its most recent update at the beginning of this year. I do plan to do another feature video covering the different uh, updates and stuff that have been applied to this at some point soon, but for the time being, if you are looking for a full blown terror experience with a whole bunch of new keyblades, forms, and shot locks, this is an absolute must-have. Probably the most requested, most anticipated playable character mod for Kingdom Hearts 3 is without a doubt Yuzora, and in February of last year, I sure made this possible with Project Nakflugel, a mod that allows you to play as Yuzora with his kit. Now I'm sure somewhere down the road we'll probably end up getting that Kingdom Hearts Verimrex, which will hopefully be Yuzora's game. Uh, at some stage though, I would say we will be able to play as Yuzora, but for the time being, this gives us a little bit of a taste test. Yuzora is 100% the hardest Kingdom Hearts super boss in history, now finally topping that of the Lingering Will, so to be able to actually play as him, use those attacks that we were getting our ass whooped by is nothing short than utterly satisfying. You're able to utilize all of those attacks that he uses in his secret boss fights. Along with that, there is some new movement, there is also new custom spells. This mod hasn't received an update though since its initial release back in February of last year, and it is stated as being a work in progress over on the mod page, so not too sure if this will receive any updates. It kind of seems like there were planned updates, but it has been a year on now. There are a few things with the mod that don't work 100%, but I think just the sheer reason here that we have a mostly working playable Yuzora mod is insanely cool. Back in July of 2021, the 13th Vessel released the playable Quadrata mod, a mod that allows you to explore the Quadrata map that is currently within Kingdom Hearts 3's files. Now, the reason why this is so impressive is because Square Enix only ever ended up developing collision for this map in one area, and that's of course on top of the 104 building. This isn't a big new world DLC mod or anything of the such, it just simply adds collision to the rest 
rest of the map so that we're able to get up close and personal with it and explore some of the city, that same city that we'll be exploring in Kingdom Hearts 4. It's obviously no easy task to add collision and proper proportions as everything was absolute gigantic sized as you're not meant to go down onto the street level of the map, only meant to be remaining on top of the 104 building. It's no easy task to do any of that and so I tip my hat off to the 13th vessel for finally giving us that collision and being able to actually explore the city, something that we've been wanting to do ever since first seeing it in the Remind DLC, and I guess even since the secret episode in base Kingdom Hearts 3. Gives us a little sneak peek as to kind of the vibe and the atmosphere we'll come across in Kingdom Hearts 4. However though, speaking about world DLC mods, the closest thing that we have to something like this is definitely Caleb Small's Traverse Town, a recreation of Traverse Town in Unreal Engine 4 to be added into Kingdom Hearts 3 as an actual visitable world to the point of the actual world appearing in the Gummy Ship map. Yeah, there's not a lot of custom maps or area mods for Kingdom Hearts 3, and this is by far the absolute most impressive. This dude literally recreated Traverse Town as if it was an actual world that appeared in Kingdom Hearts 3. It is seriously down to the point as if Square Enix actually developed this for the game. The atmosphere of Traverse Town is amongst the coziest of worlds within the Kingdom Hearts series, and to get a more modern look at Traverse Town with all proper lighting uh, and updated textures uh, running on a modern engine looks absolutely phenomenal. Right now it's only the first district that is currently explorable. I do know that Caleb does have plans to add more to Traverse Town as time goes on, though it might be a little while before we see any update applied to this mod. Just because I know Caleb is very busy with school, obviously he is one solo developer on this mod and to create something to this degree with this much detail takes a lot of time. I do know, and I have to shout out uh, that Critic was part of the development of this mod for the technical side of things, but to take something on board like this just by yourself is a big undertaking, so hopefully we do see an update uh, in time to come, but for the time being, this is hands down the closest thing we have to unofficial world DLC. The Kingdom Hearts 2 drive forms are absolute fan favorites, and really even still to this day, I think they are some of the coolest forms, even taking into account the Keyblade transformation forms we got in Kingdom Hearts 3 in the series thus far. Thanks to the mod community, you can literally use every single Kingdom Hearts 2 drive form in KH3. Aside from limit form, as technically limit form is kind of to a degree already within the game. Yeah, thanks to Sora 101 Ven, Forever 756, and Flaregra, uh, we can use Wisdom Form, Anti Form, Master Form, Valor Form, and Final Form. And it's just absolutely wild how one to one these mods are with their official counterparts in Kingdom Hearts 2. The footage you guys have seen is footage of Final Form, Anti Form, and Valor Form. I'm still yet to cover both Wisdom Form and Master Form in a video, which I will do in time to come, but I can't stress enough how much of a joy it is to finally have these forms back into KH3 with those Kingdom Hearts 3 mechanics to go along with them. Super satisfying to use, and you know, for the likes of something like Final Form replacing that of Ultimate Form, well, I really enjoy Ultimate Form, still I think there's no form to this day that tops final form, so to be able to use that finally, and as well looking at like anti form, I really like rage form, but anti form and rage form there's two different beasts all together, and there's still something about anti form that I definitely prefer over that of rage form, so a massive a big shout out to uh, the KH community uh, for putting together something like this. It's an absolute fan favorite and goes down as one of the best mods of all time. I understand this is a collection of mods, so I'll leave the links to all of the forms in the description down below. Speaking of Kingdom Hearts 2 though, what about actually having Kingdom Hearts 2 Sora with his Kingdom Hearts 2 moveset in Kingdom Hearts 3? Well, as of December of last year, thanks to Komatsuna, you can do that. A mod that literally imports all of Sora's different combo modifier animations into Kingdom Hearts 3 so that you can actually have a cage to experience 
within the game. This is hands down one of the coolest playable character mods, only because I know that so many people were utterly disappointed with the moveset of Sora in base Kingdom Hearts 3. It obviously got a lot better when Reminds came out to add a whole lot of new combo modifiers, uh, but still to this day, I feel like Kingdom Hearts 2 Sora's moveset is still absolute peak, and to finally have that in Kingdom Hearts 3, it's nothing short of amazing. It's kind of mixing the best of both worlds together. You've got those Kingdom Hearts 3 mechanics on top of that Kingdom Hearts 2 moveset. It's absolute bliss. It's a match made in heaven. And obviously, if you wanted to completely change up your KH3 experience to make it a little bit more Kingdom Hearts 2 eccentric, you can download all of those KH2 drive form mods add this into the mix and you've literally got KH2 meets KH3. In regards to cosmetic mods for the game, there is a bunch out there when looking at things like changing up the look of Keyblades, changing the heads up display, uh, different graphics like the main menu, the menu assets, all of that kind of thing. There's a lot to pick from, but I think absolutely hands down what is the best is the Vicennial Trace mod, a complete cosmetic overhaul pack for the game that I think is totally impressive. What started off as a 20th anniversary mod to change up the Kingdom Key to a very nice looking gold type 20th anniversary keyblade turned into a massive cosmetic overhaul pack that changes a whole bunch of things, adds a whole bunch of new keyblades, uh, new logo replacements, new form graphics replacements, changes up the menu coloring, changes up billboards in San Francisco, uh, all of the health, MP, and focus bars have been recolored. You've also got the crown cosmetic finally added into KH3. We've got the change of flow motion color to that of yellow and gold. Loading screens have all been changed. Outfits have been changed. There's a lot of work that has gone into this and Dalin as well as Latrix and their team have done a simply phenomenal job. It is hands down the most impressive cosmetic overhaul pack for the game so far. I, I thought one other pack that I should probably mention right here, and while I haven't actually checked it out myself, Darlin has mentioned that you probably should, it's really cool, and that is the DJ PRS mix that recently released. It's another cosmetic overhaul, adds in a whole bunch of new keyblades and other really neat stuff too. At some point later on down the track, I will check that out as well. Let's switch on over to game overhauls, and what is, without a doubt, the absolute best right now is the Light vs Darkness project. This changes up a bunch of things within the game to truly give you a completely different experience throughout Kingdom Hearts 3, adding in new abilities, revamped AI, party member improvements, magic overhauls, form change, revamps, different world scaling, new equipment, new optional quests and things to to do, rebalances in all areas of which brand new leveling paths that change up when you get different abilities, brand new music pieces added into basically every single corner of the game, and of course the visual overhaul which adds new atmospheres to every single world that you go to, to obviously encompass that darkness side of the mod. I could go on and on and on, there is an entire PDF that explains absolutely all of the changes uh, for this mod. It's probably the most amount of time spent on one mod which makes it so impressive. Uh, I actually experienced it for myself. I didn't end up going through the uh, data fights and stuff, which I know have been increased in difficulty. By the way, if you are looking for a mod that is going to increase the difficulty side of things, give you a an additional challenge, then yeah, certainly this is going to do that. But yeah, if you're looking for what is currently the best Kingdom Hearts 3 overhaul as of right now, Light vs Darkness is absolutely it. Another overhaul mod that I absolutely need to mention though is Refocus. Created by Jake Protagonist, we recently covered this, I am so impressed by this because it's something that honestly now I wish was attached to critical mode. Obviously there is no resource cost behind activating grand magics and forms in Kingdom Hearts 3. It's tied to the new situation command system which basically just pops when you deal different uh, attacks and damage within combat. But actually activating all of this really powerful stuff, there's no cost behind it. What this mod does is it now ties uh, using forms, form finishes, activating the forms, uh, grand magics, team attacks, 
to the focus gauge split into four bars. So now you have to actually strategically approach every single combat situation differently with utilizing and preserving that focus gauge so that you use it at the right moment. I honestly do wish that this system was tied to critical mode. It definitely adds a new layer of difficulty to the game to actually make you have to think about what you're going to use and when you're going to use it. This also includes finishes as well. So while it costs to go into a form, it's also going to cost you in order to use that form's special attacks, its finishes. Certain different attacks and things that you do within combat will restore a certain amount of focus points, so it's all about trying to keep that focus gauge up, using the right attacks to keep it in the green zone so that you're able to utilize all of your strongest stuff. For something that is so simple, I think it is one of the most genius overhaul mods for the game. And coming in at number one, which I truly do feel like it deserves the number one spot and is absolutely the most impressive mod I think I've seen so far, is without a doubt uh, the Olympus Coliseum mod created by Eproidix. It hurt a lot not to get an arena system in Kingdom Hearts 3. It's been one of those staple point features for the mainline Kingdom Hearts games, looking at Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2, as well as even Birth by Sleep. And to not get it in the long-awaited KH3 hurt, man. It, it hurt a lot, but thank God to the mod community, uh, a Proidex right here created what feels like actual official DLC. Adding in an actual, like, arena complex into the heavens area of Olympus, and developing what feels like a Square Enix made arena system. Uh, there is a whole bunch of cups, throwback cups to that of Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2, brand new Kingdom Hearts 3 cups. The menu system that's integrated into actually activating all of these cups, how you actually get your ass over to the arena, the NPCs, Meg, Pegasus, Phil walking around, the new rewards and stuff to go along with the system, all of it just feels completely official. This mod right here adds in so much additional game time into Kingdom Hearts 3, uh, it is without a doubt a must have. If you have KH3 on PC, absolutely download this mod. It is of the absolute best. So that right there guys is the top 10 best Kingdom Hearts 3 mods thus far. There's obviously a lot of great other content out there right now, but uh, if I were to have to sort of compile a list of my absolute 10 favorites that I've seen so far, these are absolutely it. A massive thanks to the Kingdom Hearts mod community. Man, you guys are like, you're killing it. You're wizards. You're, you're doing some kind of wicked spell sorcery that is providing this community with so much extra content and goodness to dip into. However, guys, if that is all for today. I would love to know, though, what is some of your favorite mods that you've come across so far? I'd love to hear it. However, guys, I'm Cynical. Hopefully you have a fantastic day. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also, my social links are in the description down below if you want to keep up with all the latest and greatest. And until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Peace.